third and final round. Two undefeated fighters, two future stars of MMA. Mixing it up right now here in the Tough Enough ring. Dahl Camper with another sidekick there. Nice left straight for Gates does land, but Dahl Camper right in the pocket, swinging back. Again, there's a three-punch combination, four-punch. I'd it's like to see swing. more of that from Gates. Yeah, he's swinging hard, too. Now with Dahl Camper pressed up against the rope. Nice knees inside from Dahl Kimber. He's also doing a good job of controlling Gates' legs. Gates has got to remain busy. One minute, 20, 20 seconds left in this fight. This is the third and final round. Dahl Kimber with some big knees to the body. Yeah, Gates has a nice body lock, but if you'll see Dahl Kimber's hands on the hips there, doing a good job of controlling his opponent's legs and delivering knees to the gut. If you're Gates at this point, you've got to release that body lock. Throw an elbow up top, throw punches inside somewhere. Dahl Camper taking a look up the clock. Some of the crowd yells out one minute. He gives him a little nod. Thank you. Oh, and Dahl Camper, yeah, he's been throwing a lot of knees to the body. And I figured that one may end up going a little bit low, and that's exactly what happened. Gates is going to take a knee. Boy, that one must have been a nice clean shot because Gates really likes to, or is really looking like he's in a lot of pain. Yeah, Dahl Kimber was very dangerous. Anytime you throw that many knees up the middle in yeah. the clinch, yeah, you, you have to be aware that that's a real possibility. Referee Mark Smith advising he does have five minutes. Gates looks like he's willing to take about four minutes and 59 seconds. <laughs> ah, that, it still looked a little bit high. Yeah, this could be some posturing from Gates looking to catch his breath uh, because he knew that he was coming to the last 30 seconds of the fight and maybe wanted to reassess, but he's really taking his time. And I don't, I'm not trying to call this you know, Gates a liar by any means. It, it looked a little bit high from that particular angle that we saw. That looks like a man that's truly in agony, though. Yeah, he's either in some real pain or he needs to head to Hollywood immediately because this this is Academy Oscar World yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have it. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. It did look a little high, but look how casual in the uh, doll camper looks in the corner over here. I wonder if Gates is gonna be able to continue. If he if he can, this is gonna go to the, the judge's cards. Referee's asking him, are you all right? Yeah, this looks like legitimate pain. I mean, it always, he says he's okay, but he's still holding his groin as he moves forward. Does not look okay. No, not at all. Oh, man! What a shot from Dahl Camper. Very rarely do you see those sidekicks work, especially a, a roundhouse back spinning sidekick. And oh, no, again, Gates takes another shot that clean to the boys that time. I don't know if that, I, yeah, I don't know if that was actually. I thought I saw his foot on the side. I didn't see a replay of that. I don't know if he actually did catch him there. Yeah, it could have been a shin there, just straight across the cup possibly. It's tough to tell, but. Well, and again, he never looked like he was fully recovered to begin with, so it, it wouldn't take much more than a grazing blow. I, he looked like he was still in a lot of pain when he restarted. Be interesting to see what Mark Smith does here. Will he take a point? Again, I think both these blows were accidental. Yeah, I mean, it's, that one looked pretty legit. I mean, Dahl Kemper puts his hands down and says, come on, what's what's the deal? But, uh, you know, that, that shit straight across the cup like that could certainly yeah. leave a mark. The foot looks like again. it connects to the hip, but the, the shin oh, definitely yeah. looks like yeah. it comes across. And you saw what I would consider to be a real reaction where it doesn't, you don't get an immediate reaction. It takes a moment, and then you go, oh, this is terrible. <laughs> And wow, Gates is still down, just turtled up on the ground right now. Just looks to be in a tremendous amount of pain. And there's that side shot. Oh, right to the throat of Gates. Nice side kick to the neck. That was uh, definitely one of the highlights of, of this fight, one of the highlights of the night. Would you say that, that, blow. That, that was a little bit of this or a little bit of that? <laughs> it was somewhere in between. Yeah. Now, see Chris Gates working back to a knee. I just don't see how he can continue. 
oh, just appears to be in such a severe amount of pain. And once again, five minutes is the amount of time that he has. And just here's that side kick, wham, right there to the throat. Not much time left in this fight. If he can't continue, it's from an accidental foul. It will go to the judges' scorecard as the judges will be asked to score this partial third round. Mark Smith has yet to indicate he's taking a point, but I, I just don't know if Gates can continue here. I mean, this is not the actions of a fighter that is willing and able to continue. Perhaps the will is there, but I don't know about the ability. You always know it's really bad whenever the fighter is grabbing like the front of the shorts like that, kind of trying to air out that region like that's going to help somehow. <laughs> Very intense pain that I'm sure Chris Gates is feeling right now. So certainly don't want to minimize it. You know, this is always frustrating when you get a couple of shots to the groin. I think the uh, the audience is a little bit restless right now because uh, Dahl Kemper is, is fairly certainly winning this third and final round. And while the first round was close, second round also went to Dahl Kemper. Gates looks almost exactly like he did just a couple of minutes ago when this happened last time. Dahl Kemper apologizing for the shot to the groin. And here we go, final seconds of the third round. Chris Gates coming in, swinging hard. Final 10 seconds. Gates pushing forward. Swinging hard. Will it be enough? We take it to the judges' scorecards, ladies and gentlemen. Big high five there from Vandalay Silva, telling his fighter, Matt Dahlkamper, well done. Chris Gates immediately goes over to his corner, collapses in the corner, drops down to a knee again. Tough to see how this judges, uh, how the judges would not score this one from Matt Dahlkamper. Yeah, no point deduction from referee Mark Smith, so you know nothing that uh, could cloud the judgment in any stretch. Here's the action in the closing seconds as Gates gets his leg caught. And they're firing off punches, and all I'm thinking is, please don't kick to the ground again. <laughs> oh, man. This was a bad position to be in. And you know, Dahlkamper's saying, I'm not going to even throw a kick. I don't even want to deal with this again. And it was interesting, even though that Gates was the one pushing forward and Dahlkamper was backing up, he was still the one that was landing the cleaner shots while he was holding the leg of Gates. He had one hand free and still very composed. So definitely impressed with Matt Dahlkamper. Walked in tonight as 2-0. His wins had both come via knockout. It's time to find out if he's going to remain perfect and move to 3-0 or whether or not Chris Gates will remain perfect and move to 4-0. Ladies and gentlemen, for three rounds in this 185-pound bout, we go to the scorecards. The winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Matt Primo Dolo Camper.